In the last episode of Yogasan, we had learned how to keep the body healthy and sound through the practice of Surya Namaskar. In this series of Yogasan, let's know how to practice Halasan and Supta Vajrasan. Halasan. This asan is known as Halasan as the formation of body becomes like a pluff. Method. Lie down flat on your back. This is known as Shavasan. Now while inhaling, lift both the legs up parallel to each other. Then arriving at the position of Sarvangasana, take both the legs behind the head and allow the toes to touch the ground. In the process, knees shouldn't bend and the chin remain touching the throat. The focus should be on Vishuddhakya Chakra, breathing to be normal and palms facing the ground. After an interval of 10-15 seconds, come back to the posture of Shavasana while inhaling simultaneously. Initially, it's suggested to do this practice for 15 seconds only. Then you may keep increasing it by 15 seconds every week to arrive at 10-minute practice of this asana. Benefits This asana keeps back as well as spinal column erect till the old age. It strengthens heart and back region. It helps to balance the working of thyroid and parathyroid glands. It purifies blood and kindles the digestive fire. Imparts charm to face and cures problem of headache. It eradicates throat and neck related diseases. It kindles digestive fire, boosts up insulin in the body to cure diabetes. It maintains the kidney function, dissolves obesity and activates the large as well as small intestine to function properly. This asana helps to eradicate constipation. This asana energizes the nervous system which in turn takes away all lethargy and inertness. It curbs down sexual cravings. Precautions The patients of sciatica, slip disc, hernia and hypertension should refrain from doing this asana. Those having stiffness in body or injury to the spinal column should practice this asana under the guidance of some yoga trainer. Noteworthy, it's desirable to practice Matsyasan or Supta Vajrasan after performing Halasan. Supta Vajrasan There are two different ways to practice the Supta Vajrasan. First technique First of all, be seated in Vajrasan like this. Now while exhaling, keep on bending backward with the support of both elbows and lie flat on the ground. Place both the hands on thighs and the knees should touch each other. Perform this asana according to your own comfort. The focus should be on Swadhisthana Chakra. Stay in this position for a while. Now inhale and taking the support of both the hands, come back to Vajrasana position. Second technique, lie down in the posture of Shavasana. Fold your right leg from the knee and let it touch the buttock. Similarly, fold the left leg to touch the left buttock. Place the hands on thighs. Stay in this position as per your ease. In the end, straighten the left leg first and then the right one and come back to Shavasana. Advantages It relieves from constipation and brightens up the continents. This asana helps to strengthen leg calves, thighs, chest and spinal column. Precautions Initially, avoid the knees to forcefully touch the ground. Try to arrive at the last position depending upon your own comfort. People suffering from sciatica, severe backache, knee pain and slip disc must practice this asana under the able guidance of a yoga trainer.